In order to obtain the suitable supports, it is necessary to prepare them correctly, applying a coat of primer. The primer must be diluted with water and carefully mixed. The colour preparation is a very important stage. A simple and practical system provides the possibility to create a wide range of shades. Before adding the colourant additive, it is necessary to remove the water from the surface and mix the product in order to reduce its viscosity. Add all of the colorant additive. Mix the coloring in until a uniform consistency is obtained. In order to ensure that the product is completely colored, use the correct spatula. Repeat mixing until the shade is completely uniform. The whole process lasts about 10 minutes. Particular attention must be given to the tools used for application. Using the appropriate tools is the key to an excellent final result. A standard plastering trowel should be used for the first coat. Whereas for the subsequent coats and for polishing, a stainless steel spatula that has been appropriately prepared is to be used. Apply the first coat with a normal large spatula, keeping it with a 15 degree slope. Apply the material uniformly. The first coat dries in about 10 hours. It is not necessary to colour the material for this coat. For the first coat, the corner is to be carried out by applying the product normally, first on one side and then on the other. Before moving on to the second side, remove any excess material. Apply the second coat with a stainless steel spatula, keeping it with a 30 degree slope, creating a flat and even surface. The second coat dries in about 10 hours. For the second coat, the corner is to be carried out by applying the product normally first on one side and then on the other. Before moving on to the second side, remove any excess material. Prepare the spatula by sharpening it with type 600 sandpaper and remove the dust. Apply the third coat, keeping the spatula with a 45 degree slope.
After 5 to 10 minutes, polish with the same spatula, running along and pressing on the surface. It is fundamental to hold the spatula correctly as shown in the pictures. For the third coat, in the case of joints, it is necessary to suspend application irregularly. Then start again from the joint in the opposite direction. Once the joint has been carried out, come back with the spatula onto the surface and apply decisive pressure. The application of the third coat is not carried out by stopping at the corner, as for the previous coats, but by continuing along the next wall. The wax is applied with a soft sponge with more than one application until it is completely absorbed by the surface. Carry out portions of no more than one square meter at a time. Rub over with a non-woven fabric cloth to remove the excess wax which hasn't been absorbed. After about 5 to 10 minutes, polish with circular movements with a clean, non-woven fabric cloth. The natural wax renders the surface shine, guarantees protection from dirt and makes subsequent cleaning possible. 